hey, why not make an effort to protect the environment and show some love to our planet? Cody is standing by. No more ways to celebrate Earth Day. Indeed. Uh, we have Dr. Stephanie Ryan joining us again. She's taught us how to make her own lava lamp. She taught us whose head was denser, <laughs> mine or John's. So we thought, it's Earth Day. Let's have Dr. Stephanie on again to teach us more stuff. Hi, doctor. Hi. Good to see you again, Cody. It's good to see you. Uh, happy Earth Day to you, my friend. Happy Earth Day to you as well. Uh, what, what sort of stuff are you going to teach us to, to help us get the kids in the right uh, mind for Earth Day? Well, for Earth Day, mostly it's thinking about being reusable, something that is um, that won't hurt the earth while you're playing with it. Um, and one of the great ways is, I don't know about you, but we have a million crayons laying around our house that uh -huh. are just little stubs. And you can put those into little silicone molds. We got these that are little Spider-Mans. I don't know if you can see very oh, well, good. but we made Spider-Man and Iron Man tie-dye crayons. Oh, and cool. I've got the instructions on our Instagram of how to go about that. And if you don't have any fancy ones, we have like just the regular kind you use to make ice cubes. You can make some really cool ones. They're like little works of art. And it's not only an Earth Day activity, but it's something that's great to talk about physical change because melting of wax and then hardening of wax is just solids and liquids. Oh, that's <laughs> brilliant. And when you when you draw with them, is it different colors and stuff? It is. So Ooh. if you do those plate rubbings where you go over a leaf or something, uh -huh. it's a rainbow and it's, it's awesome. Oh, um, that's another so activity I've got is you can make s'mores using a pizza box, aluminum foil, and a piece of plastic. Okay, I'm intrigued. How I've got such the ingredients on my site. Um, I can't show you here because it's snowing today in Indiana, <laughs> which is insane. Um, but you can do it so that what it does is the light reflects onto the aluminum foil and it warms up inside the box and forms a little greenhouse that melts the chocolate oh. and the marshmallow. Um, and it's easy because it's a solar oven and you're using renewable energy instead of using your microwave. That's oh. brilliant. Yeah, it is. That's absolutely brilliant. And the last thing I have to show you is it wouldn't be me coming on your show without a demo up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> so today one is to learn about rain um, and how it forms. So I've got water in a glass, shaving cream. Okay. And the shaving cream is the cloud. Oh my gosh, okay? this is amazing. And so what happens in the cloud, the raindrops of the food coloring, as soon as the cloud gets so heavy, it starts to drop some of the blue in there. So I have to keep adding it until okay. it gets heavy enough. Oh, and that's all. Clouds don't rain all the time when they're out. It's only when they get heavy enough. Oh, and you this see it's starting to peak demo. out. Oh boy, oh, it's raining. Oh my gosh. It's raining, so Dr. Stephanie. <laughs> And it's so easy. I don't know why kid doesn't love to play with shaving cream, but it also really helps them understand what's happening because then they, if it starts raining, they'll say, oh, look, the clouds got too heavy. And they actually understood what was happening. <laughs> that is brilliant. I, I want folks it. to see the activity. So on your Instagram page, is that where they yes, need to go to? Yes, let's learn about science on Instagram. Let's learn about science on Instagram. Dr. Stephanie, you are so great. Thanks for joining us again. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And then once again, whose head is denser, mine or John's? <laughs> I get the same answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody, Cody, you always try.